Israel Adesanya versus Marvin Vittori. Adesanya is coming off a loss to Blahovich, where he got out grappled, where Marvin Vittori is coming off, I think, the record for most takedowns at. All right. I think like, Israel is going to win. I want Marvin to win, and I would put money on Marvin being a betting man. Yeah, Marvin. What, I, what I'm looking at, I have Marvin at plus 210. I got Marvin plus 225. Yeah, and I like Marvin in that fight. Marvin's been on a roll. Marvin hasn't, but I believe he hasn't lost a fight since. He had a drawer in there somewhere, but he hasn't lost a fight since his fight. There's with. a little fire. There's a little dead yeah. blood -ish. Yeah. And then who beat? Uh, Marvin was he lost before he got in the UFC a decision, like his third fight, and then he lost to Antonio Carlos Jr., who's pretty much a grappler. I don't know how that fight went. A draw with Akhmedov, who's a grappler, and then he the split to Israel. Since then, he's uh, four decisions and one stoppage, but he's beaten some good guys. The last two, especially the the Hermanson fight, was a huge win, and then the Kevin Holland fight's a big win. So. I'm going. I'm going, Vittori. I want Vittori to pull oh, the upset. He's been on the show. I'm pretty sure he smokes weed. Seemed like a cool guy. Go on, Marvin Vittori. Wait, what'd you say? What? What'd you ask me? Is Kevin Holland a big win? Is that what you said? Yeah. The manner in which he did it. He did it a main event, and he set a record for takedowns. Okay. He. Basically, uh, was short notice. Yeah, it was. It was supposed to be someone else. So, so is the opponent the big win? Not necessarily, but the fact that they went, "Hey, you're the main event. This is your card," and he went out there and performed. And oh, we have something to talk about. He actually set a record. So now, going into the Adesanya fight right now, boom, we can market that. Adesanya lost his last fight. They already fought, and this dude just won with twelve takedowns or whatever the fuck it was. So yeah, I'm into it. And like I said, I like Marvin Vittori. I'm a big fan. He seems like he's a crazy guy who doesn't give a fuck. He seemed like that when he was on the show. Like a couple times I said something. And he was like, no, what the fuck? Like, no, no, no. Like, you know. And then even out. Because, you know, obviously I've always talked to Al. Al told me. He's like, he's cool. Before he came on, he's like, he's cool. But he's a little crazy. Like, he's a little, you know. Well, he's, he's a fighter. Well, even he's the language barrier and all that. He's Italian, you know. Now English is his second language, and and he's a fighter. He's crazy, but I'm pulling for Marvin Vittori. And Izzy, don't think if you win, we don't see much on the show. Win or lose, we see much on the show. I've been playing phone tag with fucking Izzy's manager for probably like two years, but one day it'll happen, hopefully. But that wraps up UFC 263. I'm going for Vittori. You're going out of Sanya. Well, no, I want Marvin to win. So you root, all right. So like you said, you're three ways. You're yeah. betting Marvin. You think Marvin. I'm betting Marvin. I think Israel though. All right, I like that. 